name is Roy Eckhold. I'm the chef at uh, Feeling Organic Cafe at the uh, Hegley Museum and Library. Uh, we're going to make a tomato and broccoli quiche. We have uh, community supported agriculture has given us some nice broccoli. And so we're from? Uh, Highland Orchards. First thing to do with this quiche is to bake off this pie dough. Put a little bit of fork in it so that it doesn't puff up too much. I have a convection oven. It took three minutes in the convection oven. You don't want to cook it, you just want to dry it out. If you don't have a convection oven, maybe four minutes, that's it, four or five minutes. You just want to dry it out. I have blanched and cooled this broccoli. That'll uh, ensure that it stays green. We're going to put this in the bottom of the bottom of the quiche. I'm going to lose some of these stems because it's. I just want to have more of the more of the flavor of the broccoli on the top. Tomato for one quiche, about half a tomato. This is a Jersey beef steak tomato. We're going to squeeze the juice out of this because you don't really want it to be too wet. So we're just going to get rid of that. And we're going to cut it in just little pieces. Four ounces of Swiss cheese. I only like to use Swiss with this, with these cheddars because of the flavor. At this point, you put salt and pepper in it. You want the salt and pepper in before the liquid so that it washes down to the bottom. We use three eggs. Beat them up, get a little air in them. This is eight ounces of half and half. And why do you use that? I like the I like the consistency, I like the body that it gives. If you want a less fattening alternative to this, use evaporated skim milk. Beat it together. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. This goes 40 minutes in a convection oven, probably a little more in a non-convection oven. Halfway through, spin it around if it's a convection oven. You don't need to do that if it's not a convection oven. Checking to see if the quiche is ready. It's jiggling too much. You need to have it set like a custard. So we're going to put it back in here for a couple more minutes. It's got a little bit of a shake to it, but it's, and it's, and it's puffy. As it cools, it'll settle back down again. You cannot cut this before it's cool because it'll be like cutting scrambled eggs and they don't, they don't cut right. So just let it sit, it'll settle itself down, and it'll solidify and it'll be just fine. A couple of things. Um, first of all, you notice that I put the ingredients in first, but the cheese in second, the liquid in last. Uh, second thing is, when you do certain ingredients, you need to cook them first, specifically mushrooms, spinach, because if they cook inside here, all the liquid comes out of them and it ruins your uh, ratios on your on your eggs and, and cream. The last thing is a, a little trick that we use here for cutting these things, and which is why it's important that they stay cold, is we flip them upside down when they're cold. It's much easier to cut them in sixes, eights, tens, twelves, whatever you want to cut them in. Say you have eight people. It's very difficult to cut these things in the pan. That's it. Quiche.